teachers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about a bunch of different activities that you can use when you are teaching the topic of multiplication facts and division facts. All of the activities I'm going to be talking about are linked in the description of this YouTube video or you can grab them in my TPT shop, Activity Teacher. All right, let's get into it. The first activity that I have is leveled task cards. I absolutely love to make everything leveled because in special education, all of my students are at different levels, which I'm assuming your classroom is probably the same. So the first level I have is multiplication facts zero through five. Then we have facts six through 10 and facts 10 and 11. For division, we have dividing by facts one through five, dividing by six through 10, and dividing by 11 and 12. I love to use my task cards as an around the classroom scavenger hunt, so I will pick a level for the whole class or maybe even just for individual students, and I will tell one student, you go look for the blue cards, and the other student, you go look for the orange cards, and then I have a recording sheet where the students will record their answers as they're searching. The next activity that my students love are cut and paste activities. All these activities, I'm just gonna show you one level, but I do have the six different levels that you can grab in the description of this YouTube video. So students will solve the math problems and use scissors and glue to cut and paste the answers into the correct box. Then I have this fun tic-tac-toe game so students will get a partner and play tic-tac-toe but the catch is they actually have to solve math problems in order to put their X or their O onto one of the spaces. This is a fun game that can get competitive, but of course it's awesome because students are practicing their math skills. Next I have a matching worksheet and I love to do matching worksheets on my smart board because it keeps my students engaged. So students will solve the problem and draw a line to the correct answer. Here is a fun little worksheet or packet that I created for you guys. So here we have a math problem. It says two times six equals 12. Students have to identify if this is the correct answer. So they will circle yes. But if there is one that has an incorrect answer, like number two, they'll circle no, and they have to write in the correct answer. So it kind of uses a different way of thinking with this worksheet, so that's why I really enjoy it. Here is a multiple choice worksheet, so students will choose the correct answer. Six times two equals 12, so students will circle the 12. And the fun part about these worksheets is that actually at the end, when you print off these worksheets, there are some blank worksheets also where students can create correct and incorrect math problems for other students in their class. Then the last of the worksheets and packets that I have is a fill in the blank worksheet. Here's another fun activity for you guys. This is a drag and drop basic multiplication facts activity, which I have a division activity also, but I'm just gonna show you the multiplication one. So students will drag and drop their answers into the correct box, just like this. Students will solve the math problem and then drag and drop the correct amount of apps onto the tablet because you all know that our students love technology. So they will drag and drop four here because two times two equals four. And here we have a correct or incorrect activity. So five times zero is not five, but it is zero. So they will use the X and the O to determine what is correct and not correct. And then here again, they will drag and drop the correct answer into the spot. Students will solve the multiplication problem and put the correct amount of apples onto the tree. So here, one times five equals five. And students will circle the correct answer. Five times three equals 15, and it is not eight. The next game I have is called Asteroid. Students will start at their home base, which you can make it their desk or a table or a designated area. Students will read and solve the math problem. The answer of the math problem is how many steps away from their home base they will take. So for example, if the math problem is two times one equals two, so students will take two steps away from their home base. When the word asteroid appears, students will run back to their home base. The last student to touch their home base is out. So here is kind of an example of the asteroid game. They will solve it and if there is an asteroid, they have to run back to their desk. I have two more activities for you guys. So this is a this or that basic multiplication facts game. 
students will stand up and go to the side of the room that matches the correct answer. So five times three equals 15. So students will go to this side of the classroom. Next, zero times nine equals zero. So they'll go to that side of the classroom. So it's kind of a fun activity that just gets students out of their seats. Lastly, I have multiplication kaboom. This is a really fun game. So you will make two to four teams of students taking turns. Each team will choose a number and the slide will either have a math problem or a kaboom. If the team gets a kaboom, they lose their turn. If the team solves the math problem correctly, they get a point. And if they get it wrong, they do not receive a point. Let's say team one picks number nine. Six times four equals 24. So if they get it right, they get a point. If they get it incorrect, they do not get a point. And here is an example of a kaboom slide. So I'll just flip through here so you can see some of the math problems. And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed these multiplication and division activities. You can get the link to any of these activities in the description of this YouTube video or in my TPT shop Activity Teacher. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, happy teaching.